Hello everyone and welcome back to the final episode of these Let's Play. Uh, to start off, we're just showing a little bit of things we missed in here, the Yucatan, Pedin the Yucatan Casino. Uh, it's uh, LMG and Zombrex. We already have plenty of both, so no big deal. Um, anyways, we're off to kill uh, Sullivan. He tried to kill most of us and he actually did kill one of the main romantic leads, so he's gotta die. Matthew and Michael are bravely following us. Well, actually, Matthew is kind of being mauled to death by zombies outside, but we can't stop for him because we have things to do. It's okay, he's gonna become a zombie, and that's okay because he was a dick anyways. And even if you give him Zombrex, he's still a dick to you. So we're just gonna say, screw you. We're going upstairs. be very, very well prepared for this, for several reasons that will be clear once we actually start fighting. And so there's two, basically two stories of this. There's this lower story, which has a few great health items and all these zombies, and a few small weapons. Uh, mostly you just want to avoid zombies as much as possible. However, you can get quite a bit of few queens in there, so you can just smash them up and... I don't know why it produced such an inordinate amount of queens in this one area, but whatever. Matthew still dying, and Michael still has R6, so, you know, good job, guys. So, we're going up to the rooftops, and that's where we will meet the main protagonist of the thing. The guy that's been deceiving us this entire time. The big climax, the facts, it's gonna be great. So you're behind this. You killed all these people for money. After everything that's happened, that's what you think? The money's secondary. We're trying to save lives here, Chuck. Saving lives? What the hell are you talking about? Uh, come on. We had to take the necessary steps to ensure a consistent supply. We can't make the drug without queens, Chuck. A lot of queens. You can thank Isabella for that. And TK looting the city? But that's not about money? He went off the rails. He was well paid for his part. Then he just got greedy. His work, not ours. Whatever happened to do no harm, Sullivan? Open your eyes, Chuck. Do you have any idea how many people are affected in this country? Doctors, politicians, CEOs. Some of our country's best are infected. Even your little girl, Chuck. What would happen to your cute little time bomb if she didn't get her drug? Fortune City was a small price to pay to ensure our country's way of life. You murdered these people! Acceptable losses! It wasn't the first time, and it won't be the last. You bastard! You did it! You caused the Vegas outbreak too, didn't you? You killed my wife, destroyed my family! Everything that we have done has been absolutely necessary! Oh yeah. It's, uh, time to kill someone. The Sullivan actually has a couple modes of attack. Um, for one, he can throw flares at you, like that. Uh, the circling AC-130 will then shoot at the floor. Now, it doesn't really do that much damage to you. The real bitch of it is that when it does that, it'll destroy everything on top of the platform. So all those food, all that weapons, and all that will be destroyed. Also, rest in peace, Michael. You were a brave soldier. Anyways, you have basically over time you will lose all the items. You can't just do the normal battle of attrition that you would for a normal psychopath fight. You have to kill him quickly, or do a certain kind of battling. Uh, if you're down here, he can shoot you with the pistol. Uh, he does three shots, and it hurts a lot. I believe it'll take up to uh, three bars of health if he hits lands all three, and they're kind of hard to avoid. Um, as long as you're down here, you're safe. 
that is sort of a respite area you can fall into, but it will cause fall damage, which can cause a lot of problems, especially if you fall through the floor, because those AC-130 rounds can knock you pretty far. Uh, there's really two best ways to kill him, either with a gun like this, the uh, LMG or the six shooter, or to go up and fight him hand to hand. Once again, we knocked down. Now, when I say hand to hand, I do mean you have to kill him with hand to hand combat, no weapons. Once you hit him, he uh, will disarm you and punch you in the face. So you have to actually use fisticuffs to kill him. Either with a haymaker to knock him down, then quickly pulling back out your main weapon and shooting him that way, or rather hitting him until he rolls away. Or the um, elbow drop, which will not stun him and causes you to be open to more damage. Or the double foot kick, which is probably the most reliable thing, because not only does it uh, uh, allow you to hit him and do decent damage, you also get some invincibility frames when he tries to hit you. So. It's pretty rough. For this first time, I'm going to show you how it has to be because he's going to kill me. So, like Sullivan is one of the few bosses that pose a legitimate threat because just it's that damn AC-130 rounds that knock up all, knock off all the fool's food and all that because you just run out before he does. Technically, it's impossible to completely kill him if you are good with the the unarmed combat stuff, but. Otherwise, you just don't know. Even the slow stuff from behind, just you gotta do it the right way. Jump kicking is also an option, but uh, it's kind of quick and doesn't really do much damage, so. Since we're now at the food options, we're gonna look down here. There's a few things, there's a few things of vodka, a few things of beer. Uh, they'll make you puke, though, so you can't have too much of it at once. Um, other than that, though, I mean, those things run out pretty quickly. Granted, if you're a complete scrub like I am, they run out a lot faster. And you notice the queen there. Like I said, there's a lot more queens in this area. I'm not sure why. Normally you expect them out of the gas zombies, because they're what's cultivating them, really, but... No, just a... lot of queens. There are a few weapons down here, but you have to be pretty damn desperate to actually you know, try to use them. Still satisfying seeing all those heads pop, which is, I don't know. I never mentioned before, but I like how the blood sp spatters in the wall when you hit them. I think facing down the end of the LP is maybe uh, more uh, sympathetic, not sympathetic, but you know, emotional. If I start crying, just don't tell anyone, okay? health left, but we're going to eat a lobster and just try to uh, do the hand-to-hand -hand see if it'll work. I mean, do that. The haymaker, slow, and doesn't always hit, because he gets attack priority, so if he's in the middle of a combo and you try to hit him with a haymaker, he'll hit you instead. Look at that gun, too, so. For some reason, these Aztec figures remind me of that one game show you saw on Nickelodeon, where the kids would race through the maze, and like there's a gigantic talking head they call, I don't remember what it's called, it was like something in the temple, Legend of the Temple or something. That shit was great. Uh, 
that, that's basically the best way to do it, just do that double kick move. And if you can land a Haymaker, you can then hit him with a downward strike from your Defiler, but you had to be quick about it. Uh, it's really just a battle of attrition. Hit him as before he can hit you. Fortunately, we have fresh practically no health left, so we kind of just... We're gonna, gonna get really close. And then... Caught in a combo and die, because that's basically how every one of these attempts works. But we're not gonna see most of those, because of the power of editing, god bless it. Come on, Chuck, you almost got him. You're a ringer, get him! You can get him good! Kill him, kill him, man, kill him! So close. One more haymaker. He'll be on the ground bleeding. Oh, nope, oh, bye. Flashing health bar. And the roll off the edge killed me. Yes. Fall damage is a thing. So let's try this again when he actually died. Channel 6 Action News. This is Chuck Green. You want the scoop of a lifetime? There's a bunker full of survivors in Fortune City. And I've got the proof of what happened here. I need rescue choppers, and I need them right now.
So yeah, that's it. Dead Rising 2, we got through it. Uh, this is technically not the canon ending. It, the canon ending is where you save TK and go through overtime, but fuck that, because fuck him. Uh, instead, we're going to go with this, and we're just going to say that Chuck Green escaped, because he's Chuck Green, and I've seen him do incredible things. So yeah, go Chuck. Uh, thank you all for sitting through all of this. I know it's been a very bumpy and very long ride to get through all this, but I am flabbergasted this is actually done. Uh, as this is my first real ALP, it's been sort of a technical burden as well, so thank you for everything. Thank you for watching. Thank you for helping me with all of this. I love you all. And this has been Dreamship Wreck, signing off.